Hello my soccer universe, this Friday evening the new Eredivisie season 24-25 is getting underway and I thought let's look at my collection once more from the Eredivisie. Yes, it didn't change all that much, it's mostly I can show you doubles for Ajax of course, for Feyenoord I can show you one of the two shirts and I can also show you another PSV jersey, all the other teams I have not added anything, so it will be the same but I will add a little bit more historical significance there as well. I also pull out all my Dutch scarves, yeah they are not that many, this not so nice Holland scarf. I don't mind it, but the lion looks ridiculous on it. Uh, and even more ridiculous is what I have here for the Ajax scarf. And yeah, I really love the other Ajax scarf here. <sighs> I had a lot of Ajax stuff from the 90s, which also leads me to the two jerseys that are already hanging there. We have my first ever Ajax jersey, first ever Eredivisie jersey, if you like. 96, 97 Ajax home really nice one then we have an 18 19 Feyenoord away jersey and i'm varying to honor the current and the defending champions psv eindhoven the 10 11 home jersey a jersey that i like very very much and as with the austrian bundesliga collection video that i've recorded not too long ago which you can find up here and there will be a whole lot less sponsors in this video i will be going in the reverse order from the past season this means we'll start with the 11th place team is the Herrenwein and I'm showing you the 1920 home jersey. The season got abandoned because of Covid. At the time of abandonment they were in 10th place. I've shown this jersey already last time around. It's one of those classic Eredivisie jerseys. The sponsor is missing which is maybe the one thing that annoys me a teeny bit. I love what Jakob's done with the crest. There's some shine to it and it's also a blank here but you know it's a really nice jersey and it's one of those classic Dutch jerseys that you just gotta have in a collection. What a design. Another unique, maybe not totally outstanding design is the one from Utrecht who finished last season in 7th place and then lost in the playoff final to the go-ahead Eagles. In this one here, this is the one from the 12-13 season, they finished 5th and actually won the playoff final and went into Europe. I love this jersey. Hummel did a really good job uh, here. Love the chevrons. They are of course alternating. We have a very simple sponsor here. I love the way this crest is done. It's similar to the Euro 2008 jerseys by Puma. And of course I love that they put the cathedral tower, the landmark of the city right here as well. It's a blank as well with a huge sponsor and the three logos of the teams that were merged in 1970 to make FC Utrecht. And so we come to a first New Jersey, the one that I have not shown in the last video, and we are already at Ajax, can you believe it? They only finished in fifth last season, making it to the Conference League, where they are now going through the qualification rounds, showing you a jersey from much better times. This is the 2021 away jersey, one of the most outstanding Ajax away jerseys that we had. I bought it directly from the Ajax store and I got it all patched up, including the Kurosawa logo including the defending champion logo really am happy about that one and then i also got a name set on the back in tadic the captain i was thinking should have gone with another player but you know go for the captain and i like my accents here really looks cool i gotta say and the shirt is just one of those really outstanding designs of course inspired by the famous holland 1988 shirt although it's a little bit different as well but you can see definitely that there's a reference there. It's one of my favorite shirts or favorite Dutch shirts at the very least but I would say it's one of my favorite shirts in my collection. What do I mean when I say favorite shirts? Well top 50 for sure. I actually would put this maybe in the top 30. I don't have a ranking honestly but that would be an interesting to definitely look at. It. On to the fourth place team from last season. They made a push for the Champions League qualification spot, but it just didn't work out. It's AZ. This actually is the 1718 home jersey, a rather weird one for AZ. You know, AZ very often has like a white body and uh, white sleeves, a little bit Arsenal style. This is slightly different, but when I needed one, this is the one that popped up at Sports Bar. It is a really, really tight one. This is my first and only Under Armour shirt so far. I got in XL, should have gotten it in double XL to be honest. But you know, for now, this is my only AZ jersey. Has no sponsors, which I think makes it kind of nice. And also it's rather plain here on the back. But hey, I needed an AZ jersey. I have an AZ jersey. 
I forgot to say in the 17-18 season, Azet of course finished in third place. The third place team from last season was Twente. Sensational result, maybe a little bit due to the downturn also of Ajax, but a third place finish for this club is always a high watermark, I would say, although they have been champions also not too long ago. This is my first and only Maba jersey. And yes, I was so stoked when I saw that Maba is back uh, in business. Because for me, Maba is FC Barcelona from the 80s and the 90s. And we see the same pattern here on the sleeves. This was a Twente shirt. I knew sooner or later I will need to get a Twente jersey that I just like because it has also a little bit of a striking design going back to the 70s when they reached a UEFA Cup final, losing to Gladbach in the process though with this triple stripe here on the side because Twente jerseys, especially home jerseys, let's face it, are not that exciting. They're usually just red which is fine, but you know, I want to see something a little bit more exciting. So this white stripe here made it a bit more outstanding. And then, you know, the pure energy and so on. There's a little bit of environmentalism as well in there, which we also see back here, of course, like the horsey, which of course my daughters also like in that season. Twente finished fifth and won the European playoff. On to the cup winners and the second place team from the past season in Feyenoord. They didn't really push for a title, but at least they were hanging around for the longest. This one here is the 2021 jersey. That's the last season before Arne Slot came in and transformed Feyenoord into a contender on all fronts. And of course, it didn't go as well. Fifth place finish, winning the European playoff. They were definitely in for a reform. I actually liked the jersey when I saw it. Uh, there's something really cool about it and it's now my go-to Feyenoord home jersey because the other one I sold off. I definitely would like to have one from the Arne Slot years or maybe even the current one as long as there's a Trauna on back. This is something I probably should get but I love it. it has kind of the classic Feyenoord design. I mean how would they mess with that? A relatively simple sponsor. The old crest please do yourself a favor look at the new crest and find the four differences it is really 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 subtle but i also like that we have here the um, three stripes in black kind of add something to it and i gotta say this was this template by adidas that had the you know on front it looks like t-shirt sleeves while on the back are raglan sleeves but there is something about this here that actually looks kind of cool although it shouldn't work but for me this kind of does work because it keeps the half-half look alive. It's a double XL, so it's kind of large, but you know, I like it sometimes a little bit loose as well. So there you go. This is my current Feyenoord home jersey. I'm sure I will get another one and I definitely would like to have a green Feyenoord jersey or one that has green accents as well, because to me, that's kind of classic Feyenoord away. And lastly, to PSV, the current champions, I have here this away jersey, actually, I don't want to say it's a European away jersey, but you know, it has the Europa League patches. It is therefore a European jersey. This is from the 1920 season. Again, this is the season that got abandoned because of COVID. And when it got abandoned, they stood in fourth place only. It's where the Mark van Bommel season that got fired because after they lost to Lusk, wearing exactly the shirt. That's why this is special. That's why I'm actually happy to have the Europa League patches here as well, because, you know, Europa League group stage and we beat the bejesus out of PSV in that game. Really, really great memory from that one. I have to say, when I saw this jersey for the first time, I think it was in uh, a top by against Ajax. This was worn with orange shorts. <laughs> didn't quite translate to me. What is this with the shoals and why do we have orange on the PSV jersey? Uh, shouldn't there be red? Well, I guess orange is because of the Netherlands, but what I really like is that the pattern here is of course a reference to the flag of uh, North Brabant where Eindhoven is in. That's why we have the checkerboard pattern. There's a little bit of a circular pattern as well. Fortunately, the pattern took a little bit of a beating. As you can see, there was probably a patch on there that was removed to make a uh, place for the European patches. That doesn't look so pretty. And I think we have the same trouble on the other sleeve. Or maybe they did the, pat <laughs> the patches wrong. Whatever it is, it doesn't look pretty, but you know. Small thing, because I didn't pay a single cent for this one. This was gifted to me after I told him I'm, I was looking at the jersey by my buddy Matt. And I'm really, really happy with this one. Yes, 
It's another jersey that I didn't like all that much in, in the beginning and now has a very special place in my collection. It also has a name set with Bruma 7. Uh, it of course has the motto of uh, PSV Eintracht Mag Macht. And then, you know, Bruma, also nice, a little bit faded uh, at the end, but the main number is very nicely put and there's also an orange outline. So fits really, really well. So here we go, seven teams I have from the Eredivisie. Of course, I would like to have more, but currently I'm more focusing probably on the Austrian Bundesliga and on Serie A than on the Eredivisie. Although I really like Dutch jerseys. One obvious one, besides, you know, getting a third or maybe a fourth Feyenoord shirt and maybe even also a little bit more for PSV Ajax, I think I'm quite well settled, would be of course to add one of the other special designs, which is Willem Dwe with, you know, a stripe design, but with alternating red and blue stripes. I think this looks so classic and really, really nice. Of course, current teams that do well, I think I really like the Nijmegen shirts. Although I think I like Nijmegen a little bit more in the black than with the red and the green band. But, you know, this is also, I don't have a Roby shirt. Vitesse got relegated. This was a team that has been on my radar for a while. I guess I will not get a Vitesse shirt. My main problem with Eredivisie shirts is, and I try to make it not so big in this video, but most of the teams that I have play in red or have red and white. You know, we have Utrecht, we have Ajax, we have Twente, we have Feyenoord, we have PSV, AZ. They all have red and white, which doesn't make it exciting. So a different color is always very much appreciated. And uh, that's why I think uh, like a Willem Dwey would be nice. But there are other really nice Dutch jerseys in there as well. I think the Go Ahead Eagles sometimes have some really cool stuff. And, you know, there are others uh, that one could get as well. As I said, it's not that easy to get Dutch jerseys around here. Most of the time I either have to order them from an online retailer, which usually comes a little bit more expensive, or directly from the club store, which I've done only once, which also is usually expensive. So for that reason, yeah, Dutch jerseys will be a little bit hard and I might not do a video for the Air Divisie collection next time around if there's not a big change. Although probably should do a video on uh, my Ajax collection because I think there are six jerseys uh, at least in there. I think there are quite some nice ones there as well. One thing though that I really would like to is have a few more scarves. I mean, having only a Netherlands scarves and two Ajax scarves, that's way too little. I definitely want to have Feyenoord, I definitely want to have at least PSV. Those would be nice. And let's see where it will go. This I might emphasize a little bit more in my search as I'm building my background and rebuilding my studio here if you would like. Also if you have a scarf to give away just contact me I would be very happy. Same thing goes of course for jerseys but you know scarves if it's just lying around and you don't need it anymore I will have a use for it. In any way give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!